Praise the Lord, my beloved ones. Today, our beautiful anointed Lord God Jesus Christ has come with another wonderful prophetic word for us. And the Lord God says that your godly ordained spouse has been released. Your godly ordained spouse has been released. And this prophetic word has come to me and I am sowing the seed into your life. The Lord gave me the seed and I am sowing the seed in your life, this prophetic word in your life. And I am filled with the joy of the Lord since I am recording this video here in India in the evening. You can see in the background that it is getting darker, but the Lord is shining upon us because his prophetic word is so awesome. I know you had been waiting for this prophetic word. You had been waiting for your godly ordinary spouse to be released. And this prophetic word came to me two days before and today I am sowing it into your life. After confirmation, your godly ordinary spouse has been released. So this means you shall meet him or you shall meet her any moment. This is wonderful. You had been waiting for this moment. You had been waiting so long, so many years, 15 years, you had been praying to receive the godly audience powers. And with the prophetic anointing that I have, I am sowing this prophetic word into your life so that you shall become receptive. The manifestation of this seed that I am sowing into your life. I am sending you the anointing that I have for the seed. So I am sowing the seed in your life, this prophetic word, and I am sending my anointing added to it so that manifestation will happen. Our Lord God also says that your godly ordinary spouse shall be a perfect match for you. You will find him or her as a perfect match for you. And this is because I am giving you that anointing. My beloved ones, it is all about the anointing that you are receiving. It is the anointing of the Lord that brings you the manifestation. So according to the prophetic word that the Lord has given me, that you shall have the perfect match. Your godly ordinary spouse shall be the perfect match. And we had this prophetic word earlier in one of our videos. So according to the Lord's prophecy, the word that has been given to us by the living God and the presence of the Holy Spirit, that is the presence of Christ, the anointing in our life. With the anointing that I have, I am sowing this wonderful seed into your life, into your bone marrow, into your spiritual womb. And whatever are the obstacles in between this release of your godly ordinance powers, I break it right now by the power of the Holy One. And his name is Jesus in the name of Jesus. I break all the bondages. All the curses are broken. I release your godly ordinary spouse in the name of Jesus on behalf of Jesus with the anointing that I have. I set you free from singlehood. I set you free from loneliness. I bind the devil who is creating the hindrances. And I rebuke all the temptations so that you shall receive only your godly ordinary spouse and none of the temptations and none of the counterfeits. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. My beloved ones, as you receive this prophetic word with yes and Amen. When I release the prophetic word and when you say yes and Amen, when the prophetic word is received into your spiritual womb when you receive the prophetic word it shall manifest immediately the Lord is making me remember that 
it has happened so many times that whenever I receive my own videos, I receive the prophetic word for me as well. Once, twice, thrice, I keep on receiving it. So, this prophecy, it comes to me, I sow in, into your life and then it again comes to me. So, the manifestation is mighty. I know that for everything, the, every prophetic word, there is a big manifestation, big testimony in my life. And so shall it be with you. Many, they mock on me because I am the prophetess of God and I am still waiting upon the Lord for my godly ordained spouse. And whenever I go to pray locally, they dishonor me by saying that the Lord has not found the match for you yet. And uh, then they say, why do you go and pray for others? My beloved ones, the kingdom of God is not about our marriage. It is about our Lord Jesus Christ. So if you are a believer, your priority should be salvation. And nothing more important than salvation. So whenever I used to go and pray upon the poor and needy, most of the time they used to make fun of me, mock on me, dishonor me. Because they don't know the fire that the end time prophets have. They don't even know who the prophet is. So I had to explain it to them. The meaning of being the prophetess of God. And still they have not yet been told by the pastors of their church. The local churches, they have not yet told about the prophets of God to their sheep. So... Even the pastors, they don't know the anointing and the power that has been given to the prophets of God. But in my life, I remember that at every step, I had been allotted a prophet by the Lord for every season. I had a prophet and only with the help of the prophets, the anointing, I could have new levels in the Lord. I myself have been to the church, the concrete church, only for two months. But I have been led by the Holy Spirit to many prophets. Not just one, not just two, but many, many prophets. And I had been receiving the breakthroughs only with the help of the prophet. So you need a prophet. You need a prophet so that your godly ordained spouse shall be released. I received the prophetic gift only when I received the anointing of the prophet. So for everything I have received, I have received it from the prophets. This does not mean that you should not go to the pastors, preachers. You should not go to the apostle. You should go to them. But at the same time, Today I heard it from the Lord that all the pastors, preachers, apostles, all the brothers and sisters in Christ, whatever ministry you have, you should always ask the Lord for the prophetic gift because during the end time, you need the prophetic gift. So everyone should have the prophetic gift so that you shall be the prophets of the Lord. So today as I release this prophetic word into your life. I command the devil to leave you, to leave your soul. And I release this prophetic word into your life. I prophesy over your life that your godly audience spouse has been released. Let this anointing, this fire encircle you, cover you, let this anointing create the hedge around you. The anointing shall create the hedge around your soul, around your body. And the devil shall fail every time he sends the counterfeit to you. 
and no one can change your mind. Your mind shall be faithful to the Lord. Your heart shall be faithful to the Lord so that you shall not lean on your own understanding. You shall be receptive. I bless your heart. I bless your soul. I release the holy angels to guard you day and night, every moment of your life, so that this godly ordained spouse that has been released for you shall reach you. And then there shall be no one to mock on you, no one to make fun of your singlehood, no one to put you into shame. So my beloved ones, I am releasing this blessings upon your life and I want to see you blessed, married happily with your children's children because the Lord God says you shall become fruitful and you shall multiply. Along with this prophetic word, I am also sewing the clothing into your life and whatever I am wearing. I can send the artificial jewelry and other things that I have to the Indian people. And internationally, I can send clothing only because of the lockdown. However, I have found a couple of people who have approached me because they do not have clothing to wear. So if you are in India or if you are staying abroad, if you need clothing, then I can send you a donation of clothing. I have sent a couple of offerings. I have sown in the life of a couple of people. I can send you bulk clothing so that you shall have enough of clothing at least for six months or one year or few months according to your usage. So to one brother in the USA, I have sent a couple of t-shirts in bulk and to another sister, I am preparing the box because she had tears in her eyes when I asked her for her size and when I said that I can send her the clothing because she said that since last three years she did not have a new cloth. She is wearing the same old clothing. So if you are really in need, I can help you from here. And for all the kingdom financiers, I, being led by the Holy Spirit, am asking you to sow your precious seed, the financial seed, because you are kingdom financier for this reason and your seed shall be blessed because this is the fertile ground. You can see it happening. Whatever you are sowing is going for the Lord's plan and purpose. And whatever clothing that I am wearing is the anointed clothing that I can send to you, that I'm already sending it to you. So those who need anything, who really are suffering, they can email it to me if, I can send it to you. I will pray, being led by the Holy Spirit. And the Lord knows your heart. My beloved ones, I do not know you personally, but the Lord knows your heart. And I can discern it in the Spirit. For me, I always have been a helping hand to many, to thousands of people. But all I ask you is a thanksgiving and a heart full of gratitude to the Lord. If you come back with thanksgiving, if you pray for those people who are sowing the seed for your anointed clothing and the other gifts, if you are praying for those people who have sowed the seed for your clothing, then you shall be blessed and the Lord shall also answer your prayers for them. My beloved ones, the kingdom of God is like this. When you sow a seed for others, you are blessed. The kingdom of God is not for me, my family, my children, my husband, my parents. If this would have been the case, I would have sent a lot of 
gifts to my biological parents, my own family, but you are my family. The blood relationships, the Lord says that it becomes the true relationship when you have the Holy Spirit. So the body of Christ is the Spirit-led, Spirit-filled body. Your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. And when you have the Holy Spirit within you, I also have the same Spirit. So we are one. You and me are one. And with the same prophetic anointing that I have, today I am releasing the godly audience spouse for you. Receive it. My beloved ones, if you have been led by the Holy Spirit to this prophetic channel, then subscribe to it and press the notification bell icon to receive the daily prophetic anointing. We thank all those who are honoring the Lord with their wealth and for all the offerings. We bless you with a hundredfold of return. My beloved ones, if you have not yet received our Lord God Jesus Christ, if you have not yet received the Holy Spirit, we shall pray a small prayer because repentance is at hand. Our Father in heaven, we come into your presence to our Lord Jesus Christ. And today we receive salvation. We receive Holy Spirit into our heart. Oh Lord, forgive us our sins and help us to be born again. We shall seek you, O Lord Jesus Christ, unto Zion. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. My beloved ones, with the small prayer of repentance, your sins are forgiven and you have received Holy Spirit within you. You shall walk the walk of righteousness.